Welcome to the second lecture in the data cleaning and pre-processing module. In this lesson, we'll focus on handling duplicate data in Pandas. While duplicates may not always exist in every dataset, knowing how to identify and remove them is an essential skill in data cleaning. For this lecture, we'll use a custom data frame to demonstrate these concepts. The data frame will be built using a list of dicts. You will understand what I'm talking about very soon. Now, why to handle duplicates? Duplicates can occur due to errors during data collection or integration. If not addressed, they can distort analysis such as inflating sales figures or misrepresenting trends. Identifying and removing duplicates ensures the data is accurate and reliable. Now, let's create a custom data frame with intentional duplicates to demonstrate how to handle them. For that, I have come up with this code. If you look at this code, I'm importing pandas as pd here. Then there is a variable by name data. It is of type list. Each element in the list is of type dict. You can see here. So here, uh, when it comes to this, it is one uh, element or one record in the Python list. It is of type dict. The dict contains multiple columns along with values. We have sale ID, sale rep ID, sale date, then car model, then sale amount. Then we have other fields as well. You can see commission percentage, sale status. Uh, these are the fields which we have in each and every element in this Python list. Then you have uh, this piece of code where using this uh, data variable, we are attempting to create a data frame. Uh, you can create a data frame by using list of dicts using pd.dataframe. df is of type data frame. Now let me delete this piece of code and let me run this. You see it is successfully run. You can preview the data in this data frame by saying df. You can see there are uh, six records. These are the six records here. And you can see there are duplicates. So these two are duplicates. The second record and the fourth record are duplicates. In the same manner, even the third record and sixth record are duplicates. Now, we can actually use duplicated method to identify duplicate rows. Let's use it to check which rows are duplicates in our data frame. In this case, I'm saying duplicates equal to df dot duplicated. Now let me run this. It is run successfully. Now let me say duplicates. You can see the outcome here. The fourth record and the sixth record are duplicates. The duplicated method returns a boolean series where true indicates a duplicate row. By default, it keeps the first occurrence and marks subsequent duplicates as true. When it comes to the fourth one, I think it is duplicate of second one. When it comes to the sixth one, it is duplicate of uh, third one. You can uh, review the data here to confirm that. So th the fourth one is duplicate of the second one. In the similar manner, the sixth one is duplicate of third one. The first occurrence is not considered as duplicate, but the second occurrence is considered as duplicate for both the records. To inspect the duplicate rows, we can filter the data frame using duplicated method. For that, we just have to say duplicate rows equal to df, which is our original data frame, then df dot duplicated. Now, let me run this. It have ran successfully. Let's review the data in a duplicate rows. You see it have returned the two duplicate records. This step helps us understand which rows are duplicates, allowing us to make informed decisions about handling them. Uh, you can also get the index of each of these records. The index of this one is a three, which means this is the fourth record in our data frame. For this one, the index is five, which means it is sixth record in the data frame. Once we have identified the duplicates, we can remove them using drop underscore duplicates method. The way you can do it is like this. In this case, I can say df underscore cleaned, then equal to df dot drop underscore duplicates. Now the code is ready to drop the duplicates. We should be able to run this. Now we should be able to pick this data frame and then preview the data. You can see the two duplicate records are gone. The drop underscore duplicates method removes all rows marked as duplicates, leaving only the first occurrence by default. In some cases, duplicates might exist only in specific columns and we may want to remove rows based on those columns. Let's remove duplicates based on the sale ID column alone. In this case, I again have to 
get my original data back and then I have to take it further. The original data is in data frame DF. You can see here. Now, when it comes to the fourth record and sixth record, they are exact duplicates of other records. Some cases, what happens is we might get data like this. Let me copy this. Let me paste here. In this case, uh, you might uh, have the sale ID as a duplicate, but other uh, attributes might have different values. For example, in this case, uh, when it comes to this one, let's say this is something like this, Carola in lower case, and also probably the price uh, might be 19,000. When we get the data from source systems, uh, we might get uh, updates on uh, individual record multiple times. There might be a record which is inserted at 10 a.m. Then there might be updates at 10, 10, 10, 20, 10, 30. We might end up getting all four records and we might want to retain the latest one and discard the old ones. Uh, this is a very common scenario. Drop underscore duplicates have other keyword arguments which will facilitate us to customize uh, to eliminate the duplicates based on certain criteria. Uh, one of them is nothing but just using the key. You can also use other attributes if you want. Now let me run this first. It is successfully run. Let me preview the data. When it comes to this one, this is not an exact duplicate. You can see here. This is the capitalized Corolla. This is all lowercase Corolla. When it comes to sale amount here, it is 18,000. Here it is 19,000. Now let's check the help on df.drop underscore duplicates. Let me run this. Now you see there are quite a few keyword arguments. There is subset, keep, in place, ignore index. Let's scroll down and go to the details here. You can see here when it comes to keep, either you can keep first one or last one. By default, it will keep the first one and drop the others. If you say last, it will drop duplicates except for the last occurrence. So in this case, this is the last occurrence and if you want this to be retained and if you want this to be discarded, then you have to use the keep keyword argument along with subset. In subset, you can consider uh, sale ID only. Let's uh, see an example. You'll understand what I'm talking about here. I'm saying df dot drop duplicates. Then subset equal to sale ID. This is supposed to be passed as a list. Let me specify in the list. Let me also specify double quotes here. Let me clean up the single quotes. Now let me run this first. You see it have retained the first one and discarded the last one. However, if you say keep equal to last, it will keep the last one and discard the first one. You can see here. In case if you get multiple uh, updates with respect to a single record based on the key, if you wanted to keep the latest one, this is the approach which you can follow. Now by specifying the subset parameter, we tell pandas to consider only the sale ID column when identifying duplicates. Also using a keep, we should be able to control which one you wanted to retain and which one you wanted to discard. This approach is useful when unique sales are identified by a specific column. Yeah, we have gone through quite a few important details about dealing with duplicates. Let's get a quick recap of what we have learned in this lesson or lecture. We have used duplicated to identify duplicate rows. Then we have filtered the data frame to view only duplicate rows for inspection. Then we have used drop duplicates method to remove duplicates from the entire data frame. Also, we have used the subset parameter and also key parameter with drop duplicates method to remove duplicates based on specific columns and also retain based on certain criteria. This is how you should be able to deal with duplicates in Pandas data frame. That being said, you have learned how to identify and handle duplicate rows in a data frame. In the next lecture, we'll explore renaming and reordering columns to make our dataset more readable and organized. See you there.